Okay, hello guys, what's going on? This is Harold Saving here, and after a really, really, really long time, I'm bringing you a pure playthrough of Assassin's Creed Unity in this case, without stream, without anything extra, over pure recording for YouTube, and it's gonna be for first time full playthrough in 1080p 60fps. Why? Well, because I'm using Shadow Play, and Shadow Play makes my things much more easier. So, without further ado, we're gonna start with first chapter, because this is how we start this game so yeah we kind of need to go through this Knights Templar Jacques de Molay was a man of principle a towering intellect betrayed by those he trusted in this episode of fallen heroes experience Jacques de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors okay so this is how we start game as I said so I'm gonna need to do some uh, video changes uh, once when we start the game, but that shouldn't be the problem actually. So yeah, also I'm kind of using different method of recording my commentary, and expect later through the day after this video that you're gonna have one poll to vote at and with vote and commenting down below in the comment section, uh, you're gonna actually be participating in one of my giveaways. there? A friend of the temple. Flaurak, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. Unfortunately, I should be talking during, during, during those cutscenes because YouTube... He kinda like to make content ideas. Wow. Okay. We are betrayed. Draw your swords, men. Defend the temple. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. Okay. So even though I did couple uh, gameplays, I never actually watched those cutscenes, to be honest. So yeah, so let's make sure that everything is uh, correct here, full screen, which is most important when you have dual monitor setup. Uh, I don't need vertical sync. Uh, ultra high, ultra high, shadow on low because I don't really care about shadow and that's okay. Actually, we need subtitles, right? Um, do we have subtitles? Maybe in sound options? There we go. Nice. King Philip's moving faster than we expected. Mm -hmm. Another hand to work here. Pope. The assassins. Assassins? I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The assassins are far older than Masaya, my friend. Their anarchic delusions are virulent as the plague, less easily eradicated. <laughs> we will not prevail this night, but if you make haste, we may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the tower. Take the sword and the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassins' hands. Run, Master. I will. Okay, let's do this. Actually, this is a recording session. It, it, I don't know, for a second I was like, oh god, this is too loud. But actually, when I think about it, I can do whenever I want when I record. Because I was streaming quite a lot. And when you're streaming, you're kind of unable to edit your stuff, and you're n you're not recording at the same time, which I didn't do because I don't own any capture card at the moment, and it was kind of unnecessary, unfortunately. Okay, let's try to climb up there. Uh, why can't? Huh. 
Okay, there we go. I guess. Kinda harder way, but we should be fine. The thing is, I chose to go with stream sessions because I wanted more interaction with people, but since people are kinda lazy to join stream and be all the time online, uh, I'm not really sure about that, so that's gonna be Paul about uh, later through the, in the, game, uh, through the day actually. <laughs> I made the same mistake with game and day on Twitter as well. So yeah, this is much easier for me and much more enjoyable. Besides not having interaction, of course. Okay, so we got the book. I have a feeling that that book is gonna be important. Later through the game, especially. Maybe even that sword. died. So as I said, Ubisoft, Warner Bros, they're kinda tricky about cutscenes, so I need to talk about during them, unfortunately, even though I like to sit back and enjoy only. <clears throat> this one is fine, I think. Pope Clement! Hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the thirteenth generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! <laughs> Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Uh, that was yeah, chapter one, I believe. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys don't have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, 
uh, AD-16, B-13, I-87. Yep, smoothly enough. So she's talking to us Last directly. Week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Okay. Hmm. I think that she was talking directly to us. So we may be trapped. Uh, to be honest, I'm not really a huge fan of uh, Assassin's Creed games. I have all done on my channel beside Assassin's Creed 4, I believe. Uh, one second. Okay, we should be fine, I hope. Arno. Can't I go with you, father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. Hmm. <laughs> This is the part where you usually can notice on those wall textures difference between ultra high and lower. Before my upgrade with graphic card, I was actually unab unable to say difference. But <clears throat> once when you start this game at ultra high, you can actually realize some changes. Although it's not really that impressive, but there we go. There are some changes at least. So yeah, if you're wondering, I'm running i7 4770K, uh, clocked to only 4 gig gigahertz. Didn't want to go too much with that, while my GTX 970 uh, 4 gigabits, which I bought like how much? Seven days ago, I think. It's already overclocked with core on on 1500 megahertz, and I did uh, clock memory to the 3800 as well. So that boosts me like five to ten frames per second in most of the games. So it's cool. Bet you can't steal one. But keep in mind that this game it's not really the best optimized, and system requirements are kind of crazy, if I can say that. Okay, that shattering, that freeze, which is so... It's completely random. I don't know why that occur occurred there. Obviously that area isn't really heavy requirement in any terms or whatsoever. So weird. I think that that guy is actually laughing because the guard can't find us. <laughs> So as I was talking, I'm not really a huge fan of those Assassin's Creed games, but I like this one. Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm Arno, Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry, they'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Hmm. They kind of ignored us. They're getting away. Well, I'm running the fastest I can. Does not darken your opinion of our nation. Monsieur, if we judge nations by the character of their leaders, father, we should all be called our Come here, girl. Now, father. Is it? Huh. 
Oh god. Really? Come away, boy. Man, this is harsh. He was either Templar or either assassin. Arno. Arno. Look at me. That's by the way her father, I think. Man, that was too harsh for one kid. But I guess Templars, Assassins, that was like, yeah, daily jobs. <laughs> and you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Never mind. Okay, loading screens are kind of weird. A little bit longer than usually, but it's fine. 13 years later. Can't win fairly at cards, so you stoop to thieving, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man! Ooh, step lightly there, you'll hurt yourself. <laughs> Oops. Just had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. <laughs> okay, let's try actually and chase him. Can we do that? Without any Sorry. fails whatsoever. So yeah, basically, I don't know why, but the difference between full screen and window mode when you have dual monitor is huge. So I'm gonna definitely do some tutorial about that. And help you guys not to think that you actually have performance drop. I started overclocking my GPU because mostly because of that, because it had like 40 FPS in this part. Nights and 60 locked, but only because I'm running at full screen. So I didn't even need to overclock for this, but whatever. Okay, we need to do that. blacksmith like you probably can't even read or watch. Come over here and say that! Uh, no. Get back here! Over I there. think Get that we need to run, run away. <laughs> now go with the pace! Ah, yes. A wise man knows when oh to God. defeat Victor. We can actually see blood. Okay, I didn't realize that. That's cool. Okay, so far so good. And we escaped. I don't know why guys, but I tend to kinda hate game if game doesn't run properly, but now it's 60 FPS and only shadows on low. And by the way, you can see those shadows, right? They're not, I don't know, pixelated or anything. So it's more than, more than cool. Why would I need those shadows? This cast in particular is giving me content ideas, so I'm gonna be talking during that. And where in God's name have you been? Only to test can I actually ha! Got you now, you little shit. Kinda skip that Just one. A little misunderstanding. Nothing to Your master's arbor and a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did yeah, indeed. right. Well, I'm sure the Marshal C would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out? That's our bit? watch. Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. It's gonna be solved. By the way, that's Ellie's father, I believe? Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno? Who are you talking to? No one, <laughs> monsieur. 
You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here? Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort. Won't she with you so preoccupied? One of you running a mock is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. Sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. <laughs> I don't think that we're gonna kinda skip that part with Elise. Wait, we can raid this memory. Let's try this. Um, that was cool. I would give four stars. Why not? Uh, viewing progress tracker. Okay. Total sync. Everything is cool. I'm kinda sad that we don't have pure uh, multiplayer in this one because this is official Assassin's Creed which I bought for me personally. <clears throat> And I still <laughs> didn't even start the game, so even more crazy. So yeah, we do have a couple chests here around, I believe one is here. Oh, okay, play Nomad missions. Thrown out onto the street yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. <clears throat> so he's kind of... He's working for... Him. Who is father of Elise, and he he was keeping us basically because our father died, and they're apparently good friends. They were good friends, <clears throat> so that guy is working for him, and he's basically talking to us what we need to do. Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sir de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. <laughs> Give it here. I'll catch you. You must receive it today. It's very... Very important. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. That was funny. That guy. Okay, uh... Stop! Bad luck, I think that the... God damn it. What was that? That was probably the fastest way. Slow down! Not really sure that I should be going this way, but let's hope for the best. Apparently, walnut is a popular finish this season. Oh Who yeah, that jump! That jump was terrible. Okay, there we go. Excuse, on carriage. How the hell that happens? <clears throat> okay, it's time to introduce ourselves to to the towers. I'm fine with it. So let's get to the top of the church, reveal some map. So basically same thing as we're doing in Far Cry 4 right now. And as it was in any previous Assassin's Creed game. I will eventually in this one go for 100% completion. On you uh, by recording or not, that really depends on you guys. Are you interested in that? But yeah, because of that I'm gonna basically go for all towers, everything, I want 100% completion.
fast uh, travel destinations are available in the map. Okay, and that's Elise. That's Elise. We kind of want to see Elise. Uh, wait. Oh god, we can't jump? God damn it, that sucks. Maybe we could. Maybe I did mistake. Yeah, we definitely could jump here, but never mind. At least I can show you guys this feature. So basically, if we hold shift and we press E, he's gonna climb all the way down. And that's cool, we didn't have this in previous games. Uh, Eagle Vision, okay. Pass the guards undetected. Hmm. I think that I'm gonna wait for that one <clears throat> to go back. And then we should be able actually to run there. I think. Did they fail? I think that they failed. I failed so miserably. Back the line. <laughs> Back to the line. Well, we can do this easier way. We can always do easier way. I thought that we can actually go through the crowd and we can probably... Oh god. We can probably. But there we go. Let's make sure that we are not gonna fail. Yeah, I would assume we are kind of fine here. Uh, we do have some chests, so let's try to get them. I'm basically stealing for, for her, from from her actually, not for her. <laughs> it's rather from her, in her house. But yeah, we're still out going for her father. Um, we need to deliver that that letter. I would assume you need to go this way. I don't really see. Maybe from here. Uh, he's actually down there. Not these two again. Must have tailed me from the estate. How the hell they entered in those? I don't even know what to say about it. So. Who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? <laughs> now, now. <laughs> we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Hugo! <clears throat> I suppose not. Okay, let's deal with them. Wow, what they do like are those tray 